All right, so we're doing growth and decay, and when we're using logarithms to do this, um, we're solving for the exponent, is what we're doing. Okay, we're so in these two examples that I'm going to do, we're solving for this little guy right there. Okay, and what do these things mean in in both both forms? Okay. Um, All right, so this, I mean, this can be money, it can be population, but whichever one was first, and I got this formula from uh, P standing for principal when it comes to money. Principal is the amount you originally invest. Um, A is the amount after the investment is up. Um, R is going to be the growth or decay rate, the rate, and when you plug it into the formula, we don't want it as a percent. We want the rate as a decimal. Um, so, for example, 5%, we'd write that in as 0 0.05. Okay, so just a thing on the number of time periods and the rate. Um, the, these two guys need to be consistent. So, if the rate is 5% per year, then we want our time periods to be in years as well. If this is 5% per hour, we want our time periods to be in hours as well. So. These guys need, need to be consistent there. Okay, and difference between growth and decay. Growth is, is consecutive percentage increases. Consecutive percentage increases. And decay is consecutive percentage decreases. Hence the, the minus for decay and, that, and the plus for, for growth. Um, so my first example is going to be one of these. Okay, so we'll say the profit is 12% uh, per year. That'd be a pretty profitable cafe. And let's say the profit they got this year, so we'll put these in bullet points. Profit this year. Uh, let's say that was, so they were pretty successful and they made $80,000. Okay, so for this example, if it says how many years, that means um, n equals what? Uh, the profit, uh, the profit that they're making is 12% per year, and as a decimal, that's going to be 0 0.12. The profit this year was 80,000, so that's going to be that's the first amount or the original amount. That's 80,000. Uh, the new amount, I want it to be four hundred sixteen thousand dollars four hundred sixteen thousand dollars okay and I'm solving for how long will that take how many years so I uh, take these guys and substitute them into my equation I'll have all of them except for n and I'll get something a little bit cleaner okay and that's what I get when I substitute it in there's the original amount new amount uh, I added on this this twelve percent. Don't forget, I kind of did that in one step. One plus the rate. One plus zero point one two is one point one two. Okay, so it's a, a percent increase if it's less than one hundred percent will always be one point something. So here I'm solving for n, but the first thing I need to do is divide. I need to divide this by that eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Because I want this power by itself. I just want 1.12 to the power of n. So I'll get some decimal here. I'll get whatever that is. 416,000 divided by 80,000. All right. And when I do that, I get 5.2 equals 1.12n. And this is our goal when solving these equations, is that I want to have a simple uh, exponential equation where I'm solving for that exponent. Because now, I take the log of both sides. Now is when... I use logarithms because I'm solving for n. So I'd say uh, log 5.2 equals log 1.12n. Running out of space here, but that's okay. And log 5.2 equals n times log 1.12 because that's how we write it. And now finally, to solve for that n, to solve for that n, 
it's going to be log 5.2 divided by log 1.12. Log 5.2 divided by log 1.12. And I'll get my answer, which will be how long it'll take to make that profit. Something to the tune of 14.547 something something. I'll just say about 14 and a half years. Yep. So long, a long time to make that profit of 416,000. Okay. So we'll look at a, a decay problem now. Now. Okay. So I like this problem because there's not that much given, but it's actually pretty complex here. So how many hours? How many hours means we're solving for n. The rate is 5%. So as a decimal, that's 0 0.05. Okay. Uh, what about these guys? From 7.5 is the first amount. From 7.5 milliliters. And the new amount is 6.5. So, you know, it's always good to take all the words out of the problem and just look at the information that we're given and what we want to find out. And we're always finding out the exponent for these examples. Now we substitute those values into which one? Uh, the decay one, which is a, a percent decrease. So it's minus. So it's the new amount is 6.5 equals 7.5 times 1 minus, I'll put the 1 this time, I didn't do that last time, I did it all in one step, 0 0.05 to the power of n, this time n is hours. Ooh, let's clean that up a little bit. Um, and 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.95, of course it is. All right. Uh, same as last time, I'm going to divide. Uh, I'm going to take 6.5 and divide it by 7.5 to get a decimal. And this decimal is not going to be as as clean <coughs> as my other one. So, like I said, I mean, I get you're, you're going to get decimals that aren't terminating. You'll get ones that are recurring. So don't round. Write it to five or six dp or whatever. And now we do the same thing we did last time. Log of both sides. After we do that, we rewrite the expression saying n times log 0 0.95. And finally, to solve for n here, which I'll put over here, it's going to be uh, this value divided by log 0 0.95. Always. Okay, so it's going to be uh, log 0 0.86667 divided by log 0 0.95. I got about 2.789 something something something, which means in about 2.8 hours, that's how much the ink will go down from 7.5 mils to 6.5 mils, using nothing but logarithms. A little bit of rounding at the end. Okay, that's 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 it for now. Now it's practice time. <laughs>